Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys if you have a Hyundai, any Hyundai. I'm talking about even if you have Sonata, Sonata, Santa Fe, Tucson, Elantra guys, any Hyundai. And you're trying to find out how to test and clean vanos, variable timing solenoids. Okay, those are the VVT solenoids guys. Some people call them vanos, but it's mostly BMWs that do that. But it's known as VVT variable timing solenoid or... Uh, uh, just the VVT, uh, VVT actuator guys will explain how to clean, how to test them uh, because there is no need to replace it unless you have to guys. So stay with us, we'll share very helpful information that can save you so much money. Another thing guys, let me introduce you to the channel if you need to buy a new solenoid, parts, tools, anything for your car, anything for your Hyundai. Check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Also, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos provided to you absolutely free why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video so let's start on it now so this is a Hyundai here, uh, but even if you have a different engine guys, diesel gasoline, the procedure is practically the same. Most of the newer Hyundais, they will have two solenoids, one for the intake camshaft, one for the exhaust camshaft. For instance, the exhaust one is on the back on this car, the intake is right here on the front. In some cases, the intake will be on the front, the exhaust will be kind of like on top here, depending on the engine that you have. But the procedure is practically the same for both of them. We will explain how to clean, test them guys, and actually what else can make you think you have a bad solenoid and it could be actually a good solenoid so make sure you stand till the end so this is the Hyundai here that will be cleaning the solenoid make sure you stand till the end we want to share something else guys this is the solenoid now that solenoid guys okay consists of two wires on the back okay you can see right here you have two wires it doesn't matter which one is positive or negative you can reverse them but if you have a current okay let's say a 12 volt supply or 9 volt supply and you touch these two together you're going to burn your coil your solenoid and you're done guys you will need to replace it in that case but using alligator clips that reduces the chance for something bad like that happening okay you can see the seals go all the way deep so the two connectors uh most likely will not touch each other just don't move it too much you can use a 9 volt battery or you can use your car battery guys on your hyundai that's a 12 volt battery as well go ahead okay connect it and see how it's going to open and close now when you touch okay we can reverse them you will see and it will still work the same perfect now it's a working solenoid that tells us that it's working if it's not working it's bad guys but doesn't mean that it's not bad solenoid if it's working you still need to clean it the films okay will be dirty inside you have multiple passages that needs to be cleaned what do we usually like to use mass airflow cleaner or throttle body cleaner we'll put the links in the description of the video below you get that guys okay and at the same time you start spraying in each of the holes and you need to spray the films here as well you need to spray on the front multiple places and you can even keep it okay first closed like that okay and then you can open it and circulate it open and close so it can clean guys okay now i recommend to do that in the open gloves eye protection all that stuff guys safety first right and just do that multiple times clean it really good until clean stuff come out of it clean the fumes as well even keep it open and just keep spraying guys outside in a container or something like that and clean it really good now i want to show you something at that point when you clean it okay it will get really okay loud listen now it will open and close better now we're going to get engine oil we need to lubricate it that's leaky moly one of the best oils that we've used it's actually green in color guys check it out you will be okay you will be surprised so what i recommend get a cup coffee cup and fill it about about five six ounces of oil submerge the that part of the solenoid and just keep circulating and open and closing the oil so it can clean even better but you can just go ahead and lubricate it that way okay as well you can see just like that and that will okay 
clean it even more you can see dirty oil is still coming out so i will recommend to actually do it in a cup as i said fill it up with engine oil submerge it up to here and just click, click click it open and close open and close and that will clean it even more guys and that's how we do it that should take care of that problem but if you still have colds guys what do you need to use engine flush we have a special video that explains how powerful that stuff is if you haven't changed your engine oil in a while or if you used cheaper oil guys or even just being a higher mileage vehicle what can happen okay carbon can build up and the passages on the camshaft gears that are inside your engine i don't know if you can see them from here no not on this one uh that you have oil passages that actually control the timing they can get oil buildups inside carbon buildups and using that cleaner actually guys flusher uh, will remove that stuff and it can make your engine work like new again we tested it on a porsche cayenne we'll put the link to a video in the description below so check it out you'll be surprised how powerful that leaky molly stuff is guys so that will be the next step hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time